Hello and hey, today I'm going to show you guys this time I'm going to show you guys all the unique altar locations that I have found, the newt altar set is. We're going to go ahead and play the mercenary and on drizzle so we can get this done as quickly as we possibly can. The mercenary obviously has a plethora of movement options in their kit. So, I have found 16 unique newt altars. If there are more, I would be more than happy to uh, hear exactly where they are and make an addendum to this video, uh, that sort of thing. But, uh kind of cross that bridge when we get to it i do feel somewhat confident that there are only 16 because the challenge is eight unique altars and you know 50 percent of which is good as opposed to uh it'd be kind of weird if there was eight out of 17 or eight out of 18 seems much less uh kind of rounded off but early access so maybe not that much thought even went into the process as a whole anyway top of the first sort of situation and the second one is going to be up there sorry i got kind of carried away Feeling maybe a tiny bit under the weather. Have a tissue jammed up in my nose right now, as to kind of help with the uh, the voice not going too crazy. But with the, again, with the mercenaries crazy kit, we would be able to get over here. It is not here currently. I don't know the exact specifics of the rules of spawning these. That's why we are going to look at every one of these as we go. But kind of just taking those two peaks as we're doing it. I've seen as many as two on a level, but most of the time it's only one. I don't know if there's ever been three. I've played a lot of this game, but not, you know, actively looking at the new altars, so it's just kind of hard to know exactly what is happening there. However, the third and final one on Titanic Plains is just the level that we're at. I'm just kind of learning the names as we go along here. It's on the backside. Nice little damage boost there. It'll be right here. Of course, it didn't spawn most of the time. Like I said, it's uh, usually just the one. But uh, this is it, so we'll go ahead and meet you on the next next level. Alright, popping into the abandoned aqueduct. I feel like I'll probably be doing these out of order. Here's one to our left. I guess I'll kind of just go up here. This one first, they're kind of equidistant, and I think this one's kind of just the easiest uh, to kind of flow with. So, so we charge up to the top part of the level. I want to just kind of show these as much as I possibly can so that people don't get too lost with my explanations. You can kind of find something on the way and then follow it all the way in there. So there's the first new altar. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit closer. All this stuff is happening around me. Maybe try to get a better, better peek at everything. So we're up here next to the ancient gate, obviously. And again, that new altar over there. This rock... That I'm staring at right now is going to be our gateway up to the next level. Only needing to use our one dash. Having two is uh, just a godsend when it comes to this. Makes basically everything possible without any sort of, uh, you know, like hoppo feathers. Hopu? I am so sorry. I have a really bad habit of mispronouncing every name I come across, so that's where we're at. Anyway, there's a new altar over there, and there's another one that we will be catching up with now. I kind of didn't show it well enough, I thought, so I went get and got closer to it. This is the third one on the stage. Kind of came back to it. It's under the aqueduct itself, and this is kind of straight across from that skeleton that you saw, that spine on that last level. So as we spawn into Rally Point Delta, there are again three more. There's one all the way up next to that container which is kind of mercenary is the only character that's like stock standard. It's going to have an easy time getting to that one. Uh, there's one over here in this far corner. All right, there's a bison over there. In case you guys didn't, uh, weren't aware. But I guess getting over to the actual first one that we will be able to kind of most notably, see, we don't have to run across the top of this. There is a long path sort of leading over to the area that we are coming up to, as you can kind of see down there. But this the far part of the second tree, just right there, it'll be very obvious. It is the most common of the locations that I've seen spawn, but again, that's all anecdotal. So, as always, check any of the three spots. That just seems to be one of the easiest ones to check. So, as we move over to the one where I tried to spot, and that beautiful bison got in our way, we don't need to do any of this crazy jump. This one is on the ground itself. I just kind of want to do, see if it was possible with the amount of feathers and just movement options. If I could get how close I would get basically to, to this part. And I did misplay it to a certain extent here, but 
It, it might have been possible with better play. Anyway, on the far side of this, this rock right here, it will be... Luckily, it has spawned. So it's kind of unfamiliar exactly where that was, but there we are. Just trying to escape these guys. And like I said at the beginning of this stage, we just want to get all the all the way up to the container. So kind of where we're looking is the easiest way to get up. But since we have the two dashes, I'll go ahead and jump up here for now. Had the wax quail came in handy there. But this is kind of a tricky jump with just this. But you know, you'll you'll manage it. It's if I can do it, anybody can do it. And then just under this container, kind of sneak on through here. And there's another one. This one tends to be here as well. Like I said, I don't exactly know the rules on how and when these spawn, but look at this beautiful view. This one's pretty hard to get to, but uh, you'll manage, I'm sure. All right, so as we load into the Abyssal Depths, there are, again, three more locations for us to look at. With this gate closed, it does make one of them a bit harder to get to, so hopefully it is, is there. The first location, right over here. Probably the easiest one to kind of manage that is above the gate. This is kind of, kind of run out here to give you guys a better better look at the level and where exactly we're coming from here. There's a little, little hidden path over there. All this stuff, but just above the uh, sort of the passage there is the, is the first location. And it's funny with all these dashes I sometimes forget that I have that ability to just get anywhere I want if I wait just two seconds so pardon me if I kind of stay around also lucky for me we have the red red whips will be able to kind of zip through this entire passage but this is again a mercenary almost only strat for the early game we have to go up to that little tiny gap with the closed gate there it is unlucky if the gates are spawned and this is the only one that shows up so I hope that isn't the case for you However, if it is, you're, this is how you get to it. This long, long passage. Again, glad we have those red whips. Anyway, we come in here. And we focus on the left side. And it will be right here. Unfortunately, it did not spawn for us. And then kind of just show what you would see from the other side as we get to the closed sort of gate that is right, right in front of us. You're running up on this side and taking a right. That's probably the way that most of you will encounter this one, so I want to go ahead and show that off, just as it was. Save you guys a little bit of time by cutting out there. Uh, we're kind of at the middle, top part of the level. We just need to jump up on top of this, like, gold rock crystal situation. It is the lower of the two that has this one. It is not a super common spawn, but, again, anecdotal evidence, so I can't prove that. However, if the other two are not there, this one should be the, the way to go. Okay, so as we spawn in here to the distant roost, the only uh, the only newt altar that I've ever come across is not a very common one. Um, it is on the, the other side of this rock right here, just kind of right on here. Like I said, it, this is one feels kind of weird, so if somebody said that they found something else, I would definitely believe them. Uh, just because it only has one, that's kind of strange. I know the level is very small, and the sort of the out-of-bounds is going everywhere, so I, I do feel that there are some secrets that I may not be aware of when it comes to this particular stage. But that's the only one that I have found, so if there's any others, please look down in the comments to see if anybody is telling you that, no, there's actually like two or three. So, there we go. And the final level we'll be looking at, Wetland Aspect. There are, again, our three, so, you know, five times three plus one, get to arrive at our 16 Newt Altars. Don't quite have all the, uh, the speed boosts on this particular file. This playthrough file. As if it's not, uh... Anyway, sorry. Here we go. So, we're going to be running over here to this gate, because we do have the verticality. We'll get a little bit of damage boost. Uh, but there is a hidden one down here in this in this little little pond to the far side of this gate, which is kind of hard to traverse if you're not mercenary, but the back side of it. So we kind of run around here. We kind of come up to the next two that are going to be towards the middle of the level. Kind of see this is where we spawned at. It may have been better to start with, however, 
just kind of taking a loop around the map. So the first one of which is going to be on this stone sort of pillar. It'd be easier to get the the other the other tree trunk here. However, you know, with our two dashes, anything's possible for us. So it'll be right here. And the third and final one is just across this section. I have four jumps, so this will be no problem for me. It might get a little risky uh, for you, but seeing how far I got there, it seems like two jumps should do just fine. And it's somewhere in this particular area. I'm not 100%. I don't... I feel like I don't get to see this level that often anymore. Like, I feel like it happened all the time for me. But, um... It doesn't feel like... I get to see that one that much anymore. So, it's somewhere in this area. I, the other ones, I knew exactly, exactly where they were. But that's kind of where we're stuck for the time being. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.